you're a fall bride the only bridal makeup tutorial that you're gonna need the berry lip the smoky eyes i'm just obsessed with this makeup i feel elevated i feel chic and i feel like a bride cannot wait to share this one with you guys keep watching with my road glazing milk you guys know i do not start a look without this it visibly plumps and hydrates my skin, prepping perfectly for makeup. Doubling up on my primers, I'm going with my MAC Studio Radiance. I'm focusing this on where I have the most pores and texture. It's going to kind of just fill in my pores for me, smooth everything out, and make my foundation grip onto my skin just a little bit better. Pushing brows into place with my Rare Beauty Flexible Hold Gel. I just did my brows, so they're looking really perfect. I have some leftover powder in them, so I'm just going to brush them up and kind of put them into place base i'm going in with the dior skin tint stick this is the shade 3n blending this with my tenille j cream buffer brush and trying to push this into the skin rather than drag it around My bronzer contour is going to be this Dior stick in the shade 02 Tan. I love it because it's warm. It's like a contour, but it's warm. It's perfectly into the skin. There's no lines of demarcation. It's just really, really beautiful and foolproof and so easy to use. These two products together, top products of 2024. Make sure to get it right into your hairline. And it just gets glowier and glowier, but it's like this satin matte. You cannot add too much. You really can't fuck this product up. Like, it is so beautiful. This finer, detailed, slanted brush from Makeup House, building this up onto my eye to connect it to my temple. And that's what's going to give me that professional makeup artist snatched look. You want to push the product up into the brow, your eye contour with your cream bronzer. And then I just contour the sides of my nose. This product makes it so easy and blendable. And then I also take it underneath my eyes because you guys know I love that look. It's just really beautiful. Enhancing the eyes before you go in with your concealer. It's gonna go a little bit on top of the lip as a little contour. Going back in with my Revive Medium Brown Pencil. Love this micro tip and I'm just filling in the sparse areas where my skin is peeking through the hair. Adding a little more definition on my eyebrows. I kind of like a thicker brow on me. I find it balances my face more. Under eyes are feeling very baggy lately. So I'm going with my Natasha Denona High Glam in the shade R5. Simply obsessed with this concealer and I'm really going to pack it on. So hydrating such a serum like consistency it's not going to look too much there i get the most discoloration and hollowness under my eyes on my chin here around my nose and a little snatch for a good measure another makeup house brush to pat in my concealer i love a concealer brush that has a slant just so easy to blend i kind of just push it where i want it I like manipulate the edges of it while the center dries just to really gain that coverage. This face is beat down, honey, and just soften out those lines. Still keeping it very much in that shape. I'm gonna do my first bake with my Mario, and this is the shade two, Natural Light. Dabbing this into the skin until it's no longer tacky, and then just dragging it. Moving on to my eyes, I'm starting with a curl. I curled before just to see where everything is going to sit. You already know I love to prime my eyelids with Dune from Glossier. It's just that perfect grayish tone to throw down before your other shadows. I'm doing this on my Patrick number no. 3 contour brush, trying to follow that bone structure that I threw down before with our cream bronzer. You need to think about creating the bone structure here and contouring your eye as you would contour your face or your nose or your lips. 
this is what's gonna make it really easy to, for you to do eyeshadow eyeshadow is literally so hard it took me like 10 years to like even start to kind of look like my eyeshadows blended i want you to just think of it like you're contouring your bone structure and that's what's going to be the most flattering eye look for you i'm picking up the shade 06 it's like this saddle color my skin by kim palette and i'm gonna look down into the mirror and pat this along my lid really softly cutting my crease made the smallest wing with my milani dark brown liner i literally don't breathe when i do liner number 12 from this palette i just powder on top of it to make it nice and soft and with a little cleanup brush with some of that foundation and just sharpen the edge Go back in with that first saddle shade and just trace out my entire lash line, including the inner corner. These little details are what's going to really enhance your eyes. Going in with the lightest vanilla shade in the palette. And highlighting that brow bone. My Kosas pencil in the shade Allure. and covering my waterline with this deep dark brown really gonna make my eyes really pop extended play gig black mascara i love i love how lengthening this mascara is for cheeks i'm starting with powder i'm going with blush baby from mac it's gonna give me that beautiful kind of raspberry toned berry blush it's perfect for weddings i want to go in with the shade scene from hourglass gorgeous liquid blush really gonna pop that cheek color kind of marries that nude and that beautiful pink together now i'm going with the bake this is the shade one fair pink from the mario setting powder picking some up on his little puff yes okay this is the bake that i wanted okay that just got rid of my under eye what under eye where she said goodbye this is the type of makeup product that transforms your face and makes you feel that girl oh. <gasps> going with into the pink from mac it's gonna really take it to that bridal cheek moment and this is just my blush topper to bring back out that pink while everything stays pretty matte on the rest of our face to start my lip i'm going with mauve from the new refi lip blur i always use like 10 products on my lips so this is just going to be to kind of get my shape going with plum from mac using this to just define those edges Adding this Kylie Berry shade to the center of my lips. This is a stain, so it's really gonna help that longevity of the lip combo. I'm gonna go back in over that lip stain with that same plum shade from MAC, just giving the borders of my mouth a little more definition. I went back in and curled my lashes. Just be careful if you do that. Salty face, freckle paint. I am addicted to doing freckles. And will this stop being cute? Because I cannot stop. Going with my Mario setting spray. Let me know if you try this. And good luck on your wedding makeup.